Hey everyone, I'm Lives Brennan Quinn here at Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana, following Michigan's 70 to 67 loss to the Hoosiers. Uh, drops Michigan to 13 and 11 overall, six and six in the Big Ten at this point. Uh, the, the hopes uh, were, were slight and small as it was uh, of, of reaching the NCAA tournament are, uh, are all but vanishing kind of by the day for this Michigan team at this point. Uh, with games remaining at Illinois on Thursday, followed by home games against Michigan State and Ohio State, and a road trip to Maryland, a game at Northwestern, and a season will close with a, a home game against Rutgers before the Big Ten tournament. There are opportunities there for, for key wins, but at this point there's there's so much work to be done and and the the idea of Michigan still kind of trying to get over the hump win some of these close games seems to be uh, something that they're going to have to get over on the fly here. And while there are plenty of positives to take away from so many of these close games at Michigan State, uh, the narrow loss in overtime to Wisconsin at home, you got to win the games at some point. I, like Spike Albrecht said today, they, everyone's kind of just getting frustrated with the idea that they can't close out some of these games. Zach Irvin said that he thinks the team's uh, backs are against the wall at this point. So with the next opportunity at Illinois, uh, at, at some point, Michigan, you're looking at basically having to practically win out for the remainder of the, the uh, regular season and then uh, or make some noise in the Big Ten tournament. But at this point, they're so far off the bubble that uh, – that conversation is is slowly fading. So that's it for Assembly Hall. Uh, from Assembly Hall, I'm Brendan. Thanks for watching.